My chapter's titled uh, Teaching for Turbulence, Eric, and really the bottom line is that uh, as, as instructors in colleges and universities across the land like myself, who teach in environmental science and studies programs, the bottom line of this chapter is that we are doing a pretty atrocious job in training our students for the future. Now, it, it, it's true that we have more and more students moving into more and more environmental studies and science programs in the U.S., and most of us are working pretty hard to try to do the best we can, but the overall frame that seems to be informing these efforts is one that, that is training students with a rearview mirror in mind. We're training them for uh, the world that was behind us, where things were at least relatively sort of placid and flat, instead of preparing them for an increasingly turbulent world, a world of slower economic growth, uh, a world of increased resource scarcity, a world of increased conflict and growing inequality. When you look out at the undergraduate landscape, you see that we're not doing a very good job of preparing students for that world. Uh, they're coming out, rather than with a strong sense of how to engage productively in conflict, to both mediate and moderate that conflict in service of sustainability, we see students who come out instead with this rather absurd faith in crisis, this sense that we can sort of use green consumption to sort of move forward, and a real inability to think about how to deal with, with parties and groups that may not see the world the way we do around these notions of sustainability. And so the chapter documents this. Hopefully it's not too grumpy a chapter. Uh, it looks to engage sort of a broad number of audiences in trying to figure out how we can push these institutions that are so part of our lives, colleges and universities and students that we know and faculty we might encounter to push all of this towards a greater focus on teaching students for turbulence to how to be engaged problem solvers in the midst of whitewater rather than contemplative sort of recreationists paddling canoes across placid water.